All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. In this video, I wanted to share with you all some information that I like to look for when it comes to choosing the best Cardano stake pool. So we're gonna be taking a look at some of the information and some of the resources that I like to use to help me make the best decisions on figuring out which stake pool to delegate my Cardano to. If you guys do stay tuned till the very end, I've got some very exciting news related to an update for Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. So lots to talk about here in this video. So if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. We've got lots to talk about here in this video. So to get things started, if you guys do find some value from this video here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. And if you guys do want to stay updated with Cardano content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So first things first, I wanted to show you guys the website. We've been putting in a lot of work into revamping our website. Uh, if you guys are interested, be sure to check it out. It's going to be www.kaizencrypto.com. So we're creating this website to be an information hub for you if you are interested in delegating to a Cardano stake pool, if you want to learn more about the Cardano project, uh, lots of resources here for you. Uh, if you're looking for a trusted source in terms of finding the correct links to download wallets, all of that is going to be here for you. If you're interested in learning more about Kaizen Stake Pool, also this is going to be a great resource. I wanted to show you this right here. This is the Get Started page on our website. Now, if you're interested in finding out all the relevant information to getting started with Cardano, we've got a one-stop shop built here for you. You can see we've got the chart here. This is gonna be an API we've plugged in from TradingView. So you've got that built in directly to our website. You don't have to worry about going anywhere else. We've got all the relevant content for you here as well, including several of our YouTube videos. You can find out information regarding our stake pool as well. So lots of resources here for you, also giving you the ability to contact us directly if you do have any questions. So I wanted to show you guys that. Please be sure to check out our website, again, www.kaizencrypto.com to find out more information. So let's go ahead and take a look at a question that I've been getting a lot from the community, and that's gonna be how to choose the best Cardano stake pool. I hope you guys are able to understand that uh, you know Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool is definitely something I hope you will consider. Uh, you know, even if it's not delegating your entire holdings of ADA, I do hope that you will consider supporting us as we are working extremely hard to provide educational content, keep you guys up to date with everything happening with Cardano. I'm gonna go ahead and use our information here to go ahead and share with you guys some of the things that I like to look for. Um, right now, we're taking a look at Daedalus, and the way that the pools are arranged as of right now, it's all completely random. Um, so as far as if you're looking at the pools within Daedalus and trying to figure out how these are categorized, uh, right now the pool tickers are randomized. Uh, there's really no uh, rhyme or reason behind all of these pools being where they are at until we actually start to mint blocks. So right now, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, the way that these pools are going to be organized going forward is that you'll see them categorized based on their performance. So right now you can see here that these are the stake pools in green. Uh, these are the optimal stake pools that are performing with a high degree of certainty. And as we scroll down, and of course these are just to take it for what you will, it's just um, arbitrary at this point. But as you go down, the color begins to change. It begins to turn red. And uh, you can see here that the lower performing stake pools will be on the lower end. Now, uh, that's just an example. None of these stake pools are performing good or bad at the moment. Currently, stake pools are not producing blocks until the next coming uh, epoch. So we'll see that coming up very soon. Uh, there was a delay in terms of reward. So for those of you delegators to our uh, stake pool, I uh, really do appreciate your patience. I would ask that you guys uh, continue to remain patient. You know, we're working extremely hard and I'm gonna provide you guys some updates here for our stake pool at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and take a look. The rank we can see here, again, we were just talking about that. That's gonna be how the stake pool is categorized based on the performance. Uh, next is gonna be the controlled stake. So the control stake is gonna be the percentage of ADA that is delegated to that specific stake pool based on the total amount of ADA that is set for staking. Underneath that is gonna be pool margin. So the pool margin is going to be a percentage fee that the stake pool is gonna charge at the end of each epoch for maintaining its operation and being online. Um, one question that I get, there's a bit of confusion regarding the pool margin and the cost per epoch. 
So these two are going to be fees that you're not going to be paying directly as a delegator. So you're not going to be paying 340 ADA plus that 3% directly from your ADA holdings. Rather, these fees are actually going to be deducted from the total rewards that are earned by the stake pool. So if the stake pool earns, say, maybe 1,000 ADA in terms of rewards, uh, just an arbitrary number, but if you take the pool margin from that 1,000 ADA that has been earned as a total, the delegators will receive 97% and the stake pool operator will receive 3%. Now the cost per epoch is gonna be that 340, so you'll see 340 ADA taken from that total amount of rewards, and then you'll see that pool margin take effect as well. So I do hope that clarifies it a little bit. Uh, next, we've got pledge. So pledge is going to be a metric that we have quite an area of opportunity on still. Right now our pledge is at 5,000 ADA. I wanna give you guys some good news since we're talking about that. Uh, we actually were able to successfully claim our incentivized testnet rewards. So Kaizen Stake Pool was operating on the incentivized testnet. We were bringing in some incredible rewards to our delegators. And uh, as a huge thank you to all the delegators that are supporting us, we're actually going to be putting up front our rewards into our pledge for our stake pool on the main net. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you all. We're actually going to be 10xing our pledge to 50,000 ADA to hopefully increase that desirability for those increased rewards. So it's a small step in the right direction. So I wanted to go ahead and fill you guys in on that. But essentially with Pledge, what it is, it's the amount of ADA that the stake pool operator has delegated to their own stake pool to help increase something called desirability. In terms of the amount of controlled stake that's delegated to the pool, having a higher pledge is gonna help you reach that greater amount of total live stake that's delegated to the pool. So if you combine that with something like a decent amount of live stake and maybe like let's say low pool margin. So if you're within that 3% or less, I would consider that to be fairly low, especially depending on your involvement within the Cardano community. You know, you have low fees coupled with a high amount of live stake coupled with good performance. I think that is something I would definitely look out for in terms of choosing the best Cardano stake pool. So I know that is quite a loaded explanation. I want to make sure I can leave the comment section open to any questions that you do have regarding that. Last is going to be the produced block. So now this is going to be related directly to performance. Uh, produced blocks is going to tie in directly to that if a stake pool is assigned a block and if it admits that block you'll see that metric show up here. Currently all the stake pools are at zero. No stake pools are producing blocks until the next epoch. So excited about that. It's something to look forward to. I hope I did answer some of the questions that some of the delegators for Kaizen Stake Pool have had regarding all of these different metrics. Um, I wanted to go ahead next and talk about um, how far we have come along since we started. So I wanted to go ahead and give a huge thank you to all of our 247 delegators. We are growing every single day and it's really incredible to see the amount of support that we've been receiving from the community. So big thank you to everyone. And again, like we were talking about earlier as far as the pledge, as a way for me to say thank you for all the support, I wanna go ahead and contribute my incentivized testnet rewards back into my stake pool. Uh, really just trying to help uh, get the rewards for everyone increased as much as possible. And uh, of course, you guys know we're in this for the long run. So I really appreciate the support. Want to give you a quick update regarding that. Also, I wanted to share with you guys this here, talking about the APC uninterrupted power supply that I've recently added on for our bare metal server operation. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth video talking about this once I have everything configured, but this is really going to help our operation in terms of maintaining a significant uptime to uh, maintain that high performance. This UPS is going to allow us to maintain an uptime should something like a power outage or a, a, a thunderstorm come in and you know we have an issue with our power, we're going to have our modem, our router all the bare metal servers connected. We're even gonna be looking at server redundancy using cloud services. So APC is a very renowned brand as it comes to that type of hardware. And hopefully should something like a power outage or anything of the sort happen, we have that area covered. So wanted to go ahead and share that with you as well. I'm gonna be making a follow-up video talking more about that. Uh, once I get everything configured and once it's all set up, I'll be sure to share with you guys more details regarding that. 
So again, looking back at Pool Tool, just wanted to say a huge thank you. Kaizen Crypto is currently at 17.7 million live stake. Of course, there is plenty of room for more delegation. We would welcome anyone who is currently looking for a stake pool, or maybe if you're interested in finding more information, please be sure to check out our website. You can be sure to contact us also if you do have any questions. And if you do want to talk and start a conversation, go ahead and let me know any questions down in the comment section. All right, everyone. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you did find some value, please be sure to drop a like for me before you go. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.